So we learned what is inheritance and how to implement inheritance in TypeScript in our last lecture. Now let's talk about some other useful concepts related to inheritance like property and method overriding and also about the protected access modifier. So we talked about public and private access modifier. In this lecture, we will also talk about protected access modifier. Let's go to VS Code. And here in the person class, the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to make this date of birth property as private. So this date of birth property, it should not be accessible from anywhere outside of this class. This date of birth property, it can be accessed and used only inside this person class. And then what I also want is in this person class, we have written some logic for calculating the age. So this calculate age method, it is going to calculate the age and it is going to return us that age. Now I want to override this calculate age implementation in my employee class. So in the employee class, let's say I want to calculate the age in some different way, or maybe I want to write the logic of this calculate age method in a different way. So what I'm going to do is here, I'll go, I'll create that calculate age method. Okay. And inside this calculate age method, I'm going to change the logic. So in the above calculated age method, what we are doing is from the current date and time, we are getting the current year. And from that, we are subtracting the year from the date of birth. Okay. Now here in this calculate age method, what I will do is I'll simply say return and then I'll say 2024 minus and then I want to get the date of birth year from the date of birth property. So from this date of birth property, I want to get the date of birth year and I want to subtract it from this 2024. So for that, I'm going to access the date of birth property. Now you'll notice that date of birth property is not being shown in the intelligence. We have the name property, we have the gender property, but date of birth property is not there. Now, why is that? That's because this date of birth property is now private property. So this date of birth property can only be accessed within this person class. It cannot be accessed outside of this person class. And that's why we are not able to access it from within this employee class. Even though this employee class is extending, it is inheriting from this person class. But still, since this property is private, it can only be accessed within that class where it is defined. And that's why we are not able to access it in the employee class. Now, what we can do here is instead of making this date of birth property private, we can make it as protected. And what this protected access modifier does is when we make a property or a method protected, that property or method will be accessible only inside the class where we are defining it. So in this case, in the person class, as well as it will also be accessible in the child classes of that class. So for this person class, this employee is its child class. So this date of birth property, which is a protected property, it will be accessible in the person class as well as it will be accessible in the employee class because employee is the child class of this person class. So any protected property or method, it will be accessible in the class where it is defined. Plus it will be accessible in the child classes as well. So now if we try to access the date of birth, now we are able to access it. Okay. So here, what we are going to do is again, I'm going to use this new keyword. We will use the date constructor there. We will pass this dot DOB. And on that, we are going to get the full year. So this will give us the date of birth year and that date of birth year we are subtracting from this value 2024, which is the current year. So now when we will create an instance of this employee class there, when we will call this calculate age method, it is going to call the calculate age method of this employee class. It is not going to call the calculate age method of person class because in the employee class, we have overridden that calculate age method. So now when we will create an instance of employee class, it will call the calculate age method of employee class. 
but when we will create an instance of person class at that time it will call the calculate age method of person class i hope this point is clear so here let me pass a date of birth in month date and year format so for example 8 30 1991 let's save the changes and now you will see that the age is calculated properly okay so the format in which we were passing the date that was not correct and that's why the date constructor was not able to create a date from that string value now what i will also do here is in the calculate age method before we return the age let me go ahead and let me write a console.log statement just to check which method is getting called and here we will say calculate age of person called let me copy this console.log statement and let's put it inside the calculate age of employee class as well and there we will say calculate age of employee called let's save the changes and here you will see calculate age of employee called but if we don't override this calculate age method if i comment this and now if we save the changes in that case the calculate age of person will be called okay so here we are overriding a method from the parent class and then in the child class if you want to use a property which is not public if it is a private property we will not be able to access it inside the child class so if you want to make a property also accessible in the child classes we can make it as protected instead of private we can change it to protected so that it will also be accessible in the child classes this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.